Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Theory Tuition series where I'm working with you step by step through each of the ABRSM theory grades. There are lots of resources available to help you on my website. If you visit SharonBill.com, you'll find some free PDF information sheets. They're available in US letter or A4 and they accompany each step of this series. There's lots of information here. Everything you need to know will be found in these PDF documents. There's also a page which links to all of my YouTube video tutorials and you can also access information about the books that I have available. If it is that you're working towards taking this exam, I've written a book, How to Take Your ABRSM Music Theory Exam, and it's full of tips and techniques on how to best prepare for your exam session and also how to best make use of the time once you're actually sitting in the exam and working through your paper. So if you visit SharonBill.com, it's all there for you. If you can give me a like, that'd be fab. That'd be really encouraging to me. And, give, and subscribe to my channel to stay updated. There's loads more in store. I'm really enjoying working through this series with you. I hope you're enjoying it too. So grab your pencil, grab your eraser and your ruler. You're going to need those. And turn with me to page 25, where we're carrying on with the last section of section H, where we're using all of the scales that we've covered so far. It covers all of grade one key signatures, grade two key signatures, and also grade three key signatures in major, harmonic minor, and melodic minor four. Section H in the PDF document gives you the opportunity to do a little bit of revision and test yourself because it's only using the information that we first covered in section F. Now ultimately you're going to have to get to know this information without looking it up on a document or in a book or something and so I do suggest that you um, become acquainted with the circle of fifth so you can quickly work out all of these key signatures for yourself. There's a video that I've done explaining how to do that. You can find uh, the links to that in the cards and also in the video description. So do get to grips with working these key signatures out for yourself. And so we're carrying on with page 25. If you want to for now, by all means, keep referring back to this sheet F. And we're just carrying on as we did before, doing a little bit of detective work, figuring out what the keys are. And we now need to add a key signature, where it's required, and any necessary accidentals to make this make sense. We can't change the way it sounds at all, but we can write it with a key signature and necessary accidentals. And so I'll work through this first one with you to refresh your memory. So let's look at what clues we've got. We're in the bass clef, we've got an E flat, we've got an A flat, and we've got an E flat again. Now if we've got E flats and A flats, we must also have B flats in a key signature. And the fact that there are no B flats there, even though we've got a note B, means that this one must have been made natural. So we see the absence of the flat is our clue, and so that's our raised seventh. And so if B is the seventh, the eighth must be C, and we are in C minor. And C minor, if you refer to your sheet, oh no, wrong clef, oops a daisy, getting carried away there. Bass clef, do you me? C minor has a key signature of B flats. I'm still thinking in treble clef here. Let's do this again. B flats, E flats, and A flats. And so we will now need to make sure that this one has a natural to cancel this key signature out. You can only ever have a key signature in its totality. And so we have to cancel that as a raised seventh. And so that makes perfect sense now. And so let's just... That's all the thinking done. We just need to kind of write all of that out again, but as they've asked us to in the question. And so, I haven't left much room there, have I? Okay. It 
So we don't need these flats because E flats and A flats are now taken care of in the key signature. But we do need to make sure we put the natural sign here to make sure that this B is not B flat but stays as the raised seventh as a B natural. Okay, just the stems, just copy what they've done. Not too busy this one. And so that's quickly done. And so, by all means, press on ahead. You can either try these one at a time and then keep reaccessing into the video, or if you're feeling brave, just go for it and complete the rest of the page. You can always keep peeping back to this document on page F, section F, but as soon as you feel like you're comfortable you can start trying to do it without looking as well. And so let's look what we've got. I'm hoping you've had a go of this on your own. Let's press on through and see what we've got. So we've got B flats, A flats, E flats, A flat, B flat, D flat, we've got that, B flat, a flat, B flat. So we've got B flats, E flats, A flats and D flats. Now actually, we've got the full key signature now. There's nothing missing, there's no anomalies. And so really, we're just in a major key. There's no raised sevenths. We're just in a standard major key. And we know that A flat major has a key signature of four flats, B, E, A, D. And so literally, we just add that key signature. This is the simple one. I think we've got so used to doing the tricky ones. Now we get an easy one. It throws us a little bit. B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats. And then everything is present. Oh, let's put the bar lines in. I would always put the bar lines in before you get going with the notes, otherwise it's so easy to just get carried away, you could end up running out of space. And also, if you don't keep your notes aligned, you lose track where you are. And so, it helps to just keep pace with where you are in their given exercise. So we're going to have no accidentals to add, because all of the key signature is present, it's just a major key. No tricky raised sevenths. What you see is what you get. So we've just got some stems to do now. Nearly there. Just make sure you copy it accurately. Okay, next one. So if you've not tried this already, do press pause and have a go. And so now I'm hoping you've had a little go at this yourself. And so the thing that stands out to me before we even read any notes, we've got a sharp and a flat, and that's not possible in a key signature. So the sharp has to be the raised seventh. A flat isn't raised, a flat's lowered, isn't it? So that can't be the raised seventh. So that has to be the raised seventh and that has to be our key signature. And so, if the raised seventh is C sharp, our eighth or octave is D, we are in D minor. And D minor shares the same key signature of F major, which is B flats. And that now makes perfect sense. So B flats. There we go, and so that's all the thinking done. Let's just map this out. Get the blobs in. That's the technical term, of course. Okay, so the C sharp needs to be added as an accidental, because you can't have a C sharp in the key signature, that's our raised seventh. But the B flat is now taken care of. Same again here, we need the C sharp as an accidental. But the B flat is now taken care of in the key signature. And so we just need to add a 
No, I can't go down bank freehand, so let's just go straight for the ruler. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Dear, oh dear, that was a bad joke. Didn't mean that. Can't be that witty by design. <laughs> okay, so that's quite a long one. So we'll be tidy and use a ruler. I might manage that freehand. There we go. Okay. Oh, I got a bit close into the camera there. Sorry if I, my hair got in the way then. Got a bit intense, all carried away with the theory. I'm going to just shake it up a bit now and do the bar lines first. Steady on. Okay, so what clues have we got here? There's not a lot to go on. We've got an A flat and a D flat and a B flat. Now if we've got a B flat, an A flat and a D flat, there has to be an E flat, B, E, A, D is the order. Here we've got an E, but there's no flat, and so the absence of the flat means actually that's been raised. And so if that's raised purely because of the absence of the flat, if E is the raised seventh, then F is our octave or home note. So we're in the key of F minor. Now F minor is related to A flat major, so it has a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats. And that now makes perfect sense because they're all present except we need to raise that seventh with a natural sign. And so those no longer need a flat, but this one must have a natural sign to cancel out this E and to raise the seventh in accordance with the rules of the minor scale. There we go, so just get the stems. Just one left. And hopefully by now you're beginning to feel a little bit more confident. So crack on ahead, have a go at this last exercise, and then we'll go at this together. So, get the correct clef in straight away. Let's see what clues we've got. We've got a B flat, an E flat, another E flat, another B flat, an A flat, a flat, B flat. So we've got B flats, E flats and A flats. And that's a key signature in its entirety with no anomalies, nothing extra that's shouting out to us. And so we're back to the simple case of this is a major key signature, E flat major, has B flats and E flat, B, E, A flats in the key signature. And all of that's present and so it's literally as simple as that. B flats, E flats, A flats. And that's all the thinking done. So now, all we're going to have to do is copy the notes in. We no longer need any accidentals because they're all present in the key signature. And so we just, it should sound exactly the same because the key signature now takes care of everything. Just sharpen the pencil a bit. You always really need a sharp pencil. So if you're using a traditional pencil, you'll just have to keep sharpening it. It's hard enough to stay tidy without a dull pencil. Okay, let's just copy the stems. We don't need any accidentals because the key signature cake takes care of all of that. So we, all the thinking's done, and we're nearly home and dry. By all means use a ruler, keep it tidy, I'm just trying to be quick. And there we go. That's that. I hope that's been helpful to you. I hope that's becoming more familiar. If you find that really difficult, then just rub it out, go back and have another go at it. 
if you've enjoyed that if it's helped you, if you can give me a like that would be fab subscribe to my channel to stay updated there's loads more in store i'm really enjoying this and i hope that you are too please do go to sharonbill.com there's lots there to help you thanks for watching see you next time bye